Just look at this beauty, resplendent in custom coachwork with immaculate attention to detail throughout. This Restomod 964 is built by 911 Retroworks in the UK. Now, whether the car is built by a specialist company or by a dedicated enthusiast, there has always been one particular shortcoming in the Porsche 911, the climate control system. With the 911 becoming such a popular subject of the Restomod trend, it's long overdue that the air conditioning system gets a radical update. At best, the factory system pumps out just enough cool air to avoid the car becoming a sauna while you're stuck in city traffic. The bulky high cg engine mounted compressor places nearly 11 kilos above the engine block. It's replaced with a compact, modern, high efficiency unit which is mounted in the front of the car. This has the added benefit of improving the front rear weight distribution. While we're in the engine bay, we make another important upgrade to the car. The factory alternator, which is rated for 115 amps cold, is barely adequate for running the car in stock trim. Once things heat up, the output can drop by up to 20%. We have a cure for that in the form of this monster 240 amp alternator. While it's huge on output, it fits inside the factory fan housing. This allows the car's entire electrical system to operate with plenty of headroom. In addition to providing juice for the electric air conditioning system, it also improves the stability of the lighting system, adds extra current for the ignition system, and ensures that the car's battery will never be in danger of being discharged during those times when you're stuck in traffic. Now it's time to head up, with the car on the hoist and front wheels off. The location for the factory AC condenser is now home to the ultra-compact, high-efficiency electric compressor and a modern, high-flow fan condenser assembly. Custom brackets and thin-wall high-pressure flexible lines are cut to fit, ensuring perfect integration between the car and its new aircon components. A second condenser is piggybacked to the engine oil cooler in its fan. The two condensers will keep the car chilled to perfection even in the hottest part of the summer. Another custom bracket and the dryer receiver takes up its new home inside the front fender. There's just enough room for a perfect fit if you look hard and plan ahead. Under the bonnet now and it's time to run the heavy cables from the compressor to the battery and through a high current relay into the ECU. Naturally, safety comes first, so the high current relay has a heavy duty fuse meticulously mounted and terminated between the system and the battery. The ECU is intended to be surface accessible, so it's given a nicely concealed, easy to reach location behind the snap in upholstery panels. This is important because the system is massively tunable from a laptop. Everything from the maximum current the system is allowed to draw right down to the type of switch you choose to activate the climate control and every parameter in between. With a new evaporator in place and everything buttoned back up, it's time to hit the switch and evaluate the setup. A full screen of diagnostic information allows us to fine-tune the system to each and every individual preference. You can see from the data being read through the system sensors that we've got a cabin temperature of well below 15 degrees Celsius. Despite the complexity of the installation and the versatility available in the programming, the system is a model of simplicity to operate. Push the button, the light gets bright, and you're cruising in cool comfort. The first test drive of a dual condenser equipped car showed us that the system was easily capable of dominating a hot gridlocked afternoon. The system actually had to be tuned down after our shakedown cruise. Okay, it's time for our checklist. Weight saving? Check. We remove 10 kilograms from the car. Effective cooling? Check. We recorded minus 1.5 Celsius at the dash vent. Improved weight distribution? Check. Heavy components, brackets and lines eliminated from the rear of the car. 
Improved electrical output. Check. The alternator upgrade improves the operation of every system in the car. Thanks for watching and stay cool.